We've noticed some of our customers have a hard time connecting their Serbo GX to their phone for monitoring. They've opted not to go with the screen. And it's a pretty easy process, but it's a little bit confusing for a newcomer. Now I have this Serbo GX powered on. You can see the lights are blinking. And I have the power connected on to a 12 volt SOK battery just for the purpose of this programming. We have the lights blinking on the front. That means we're ready to go. So let's get on the phone and get this thing connected. First things first, you will need to take note of the sticker on the side of the Serbo GX. This has the Wi-Fi network name and the password to the Wi-Fi network. Additionally, on the front of the unit, it says Wi-Fi access point is active, and that's indicated by the flashing green light. Right here on the side of the unit is a little tiny hole that contains the reset button for your network settings. On the front, you'll see there's some text that indicates what that does. And if you press and hold it, it resets all of the network settings. And if you press it for just a moment, it turns on the Wi-Fi access and Bluetooth. Now I'm using an iPhone, so I'm going into the App Store. However, if you are using an Android, you just go into the Play Store, search up Victron Connect, and it's this one right here with this icon. Now I've already installed it, so I can just open it, but just go ahead and follow the standard app installation process. Now I have a few Victron devices nearby and it's picking up on the Bluetooth of them. So for example, if I touch the Serbo GX here, it's connecting and shows us some information about this. Now I cannot connect to this Serbo GX just from this alone. The VRM online portal button only comes into play if you've already set up the Serbo GX for VRM online. So you're probably like, what the heck? Why can't I connect to it? Well, First thing you need to do is go into your Wi-Fi settings. So if I press and hold the Wi-Fi button up here, I can select my Wi-Fi network. And instead of our current connected Wi-Fi here, we're gonna go down and select the Wi-Fi name here that corresponds to the sticker on the Servo GX. Now it'll prompt you for a password. That's where that Wi-Fi key printed on the side of the unit comes into effect. Type that in as your Wi-Fi network password. If your phone pops up with this notice that the network does not have internet, click keep trying Wi-Fi. Another common mistake you can make is Victron Connect will request to connect to local devices on your network. Habit tells you to click don't allow. Make sure you click allow, otherwise this won't work. Now that I'm connected, I can go back to my device list and click on the Servo GX again, except this time we have a new button down here that says remote console. If you get a warning about unsecured access, just click don't warn again, not now, otherwise change your pin code. As you can see now down here at the bottom, we have a new button that says remote console. When we touch that, it tells us to rotate our screen obviously, but then we get full view access of the device, everything going on. Now with this remote access, you can touch it and go into the menu and go into your settings. And from here, you can select Wi-Fi it will then allow you to have your phone connected to your building's Wi-Fi network and still allow remote connection. So you don't always have to be disconnected from your net network and connected directly to the Serbo for remote console as long as they're both on the same Wi-Fi network. But my point here I'm trying to make is that this won't work over Bluetooth alone, either direct Wi-Fi connection or both devices being connected to the same network is required. So obviously I'm hiding the password with my thumb, but I just connected this to our building's Wi-Fi network and now the app has frozen. Now in the Wi-Fi settings of my phone, I'm gonna switch back to my building's Wi-Fi network instead of being connected directly to the Serbo GX. Now that I'm connected back to the Serbo GX, you can see the IP address for the host has changed and now I can do remote console from any device here on my local network. And I can see the screen of the Serbo GX and do everything I need to do. So that's something to remember. At the end of the day, you need to make sure both your phone and Serbo GX are on the same Wi-Fi network. Otherwise, you will not have a successful time making the connection. And Bluetooth alone is not enough to have a remote console session. Hope this helped you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.